Lung cancer is the third most common cancer found here in the United States with an average diagnosis of about one in every 16 people. As we all probably know by this point in 2024, most cases of lung cancer are due to smoking, but not all of them. There is in fact one type of lung cancer that many non-smokers get, and that's known as lung adenocarcinoma. However, this video is not about lung cancer and smoking, but rather today we're gonna to be talking about the top five most common symptoms that you need to be aware of that have to do with lung cancer. Now, what's important about these top five symptoms as a whole is that there are a plethora of other diseases that can cause each of these symptoms individually, but having three or even four of these five warning signs over a specific period of time, such as weeks to months, can be an indication that you have or may have some sort of lung tumor that's forming. Again, if you do have these symptoms, it warrants prompt medical attention and a quick visit to your doctor. So without further ado, we're going into the top five symptoms, starting with number five, and that is a persistent cough. Usually a cough that has to do with an upper respiratory infection will subside after about two to four weeks. But if the cough remains persistent past that four week mark, it could be a sign of lung cancer. Pay close attention to the cough, whether it falls into the category of persistent or intermittent. A persistent cough means that the cough is happening all the time or 24 seven, whereas an intermittent cough means that it's happening just for short periods of time and then essentially your cough free for certain periods of time and then it starts up again like a cycle. A persistent cough is definitely worse than an intermittent cough and tying into a persistent cough, if you're coughing up any blood, this is just a bad combination that would definitely warrant further investigation from a medical care professional. Moving on to symptom number four, and that is shortness of breath. There are many different diseases that can cause overall shortness of breath, but mass effect from a lung tumor is definitely one of these. Having lung cancer can lead you to become more short of breath and not allow you to do as much activity as you otherwise would normally do. Lung cancer can also cause fluid to accumulate in the pleural space, which is the cavity between the lung and the chest wall. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I really don't think liquid is supposed to be within the lungs, especially the lung pleura themselves. So having this fluid is not only bad, but it can impede your lungs ability to expand and contract properly, leading to that persistency of shortness of breath. Moving on to warning sign number three, we have a change of voice. So this happens due to a mass effect of the tumor that eventually causes widespread growth and inflammation, and this can compress a specific nerve known as the recurrent laryngeal nerve that is responsible for our voice projection. So if you have a change of voice for more than a few weeks, I definitely would recommend seeking out a doctor as soon as possible. So moving on to warning sign number two, and this is one that is a little bit less obvious and common than the other ones, and that is clubbing of the fingernails. So unless you have some role in the healthcare world, you probably haven't heard of this symptom of the clubbing of the fingernails, but this sign is a good indicator of some underlying lung pathology in general, whether it's lung cancer or something like COPD. This occurs when the fingernails themselves actually change shape. Now again, lung cancer is certainly not the only thing associated with clubbing, but it's definitely something to be on the lookout for, and sometimes it can slip or fly under the radar. And the number one warning sign that you have to be aware of for lung cancer is unexplained weight loss. What is true for most cancers is that one of the first signs that you may see is an unexplained, unintentional weight loss of greater than 10 pounds. This usually happens over a period of two to four months. And the key to this is that this is unexplained and also unintentional, meaning you're not trying to lose weight by looking at your diet 
or being more active and exercising more. This is, hey, I'm doing the same things in my life that I've been doing for the last several months, and I'm down 10, 15 pounds for no reason. If you do notice that you're down a couple of belt sizes without really trying to lose weight at all, or someone notices that you may have lost weight or you're looking a little thin, I definitely, definitely would recommend you going to see your local healthcare provider as soon as possible. That's all I have for this video, guys. And as always, I will see you all on the next one.